All right, here's an addendum to my video. I realized what I did wrong. Uh, earlier on in that video, I was uh, getting confused by the D and the DP results. Uh, fire combat has a DP result, which is a reduction, I believe. And in assault, the D, uh, it's a D, not a DP result. And that means the defender is affected and the defending units in the defending hex each apply the listed result. So uh, what I have done wrong there was in the first result, the first assault that we did, we got a shaken and an SK1. So the guy that was here, where is he? He was here. He would have not flipped over. He would have retreated, kept this shaken here and moved to here. And this guy would have been able to advance. And then this would then allow me to attack again. And if I did indeed attack again, uh, what this would, the net result here would be, it would reduce the, uh, the column shift by, it would be down to the nine, eight, nine column. We go up to the 10 column. I said a roll, I think I roll a 51, right? A 51, let's just check real quickly. It would be a T result now versus an S result. And these guys rolled well as well. They roll a 52 on the, now it's going to be on the 8 column of 52. This is going to end up being a firefighter, but 52, that's a T. So two T's. Oh yeah, there it is. It's close fight. So we would have a close fight and I don't know how to do that. Close fight test results. Okay, roll a die. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, this is where we got to roll a red die. Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah, so this this is not good. This close fight now uh, means that the units are locked in a grueling melee. Each player rolls their red die for each unit involved in the assault and compares it to the, uh, the unit CR. So <clears throat> the defender has a two and this guy rolled a five. So he's, he has to, he's shaken and is going to uh, a retreat. These guys roll equal to, and they're just shaken. So we're going to put a shaken on my guy here, my guy, on this Confederate guy. And this guy's going to retreat one, another one. So that, that, that's nasty. That's a very different result because I can't read the freaking rules. But what else is new? Uh, let's see. Let's see, I didn't get any doubles modifiers. So I think I think that catches all of it. Though I will say, it actually, there's a note here that talks about that inverse relationship that I mentioned earlier on where you want to roll low for fire combat cohesion test results and you want to roll high for the combat results. Uh, the designer, Herman, has uh, made a commentary in here about that. I'm not going to uh, go into it, but you can probably buy the game and read it yourself. It's an interesting little explanation. So it's based on the logic uh, here, not just the whim or the, uh, the, the fact that I didn't want to work out the dice. So that was nice to see. So uh, my apologies for getting that assault result wrong, but we caught it and that's the, the beauty of doing some videos sometimes. We can see where we make mistakes. Okay, here we go, bye.